So thank you for being here, think, coming to Dreamcatchers. And uh, you work primarily in the fashion industry, the, the textiles industry. Yes. I'm wondering where technology plays a role in the advancement of this industry. Like how, is it, is it to get to more consumers or is it to make the process easier? Where do you see technology playing a role? There are many places for technology. Uh, yeah. Wearable tech, I think, is where the, the hot talk yeah. is right now. Fash tech, right? There's even a term coined for it. So there's a lot of um, new innovation with uh, products that can be connected to you know, your body, mm -hmm. your health. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely one area. Um, there's also a lot of innovation in textile tech. So more and more we see textiles that can do you know, similar functions that we talked about before. Mm -hmm. um, that can monitor your body temperature, other you know, changes, vital signs of, of, related to your health. Mm -hmm. So um, in the athleisure area, in athletic and, and leisure wear, mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of uh, new fabric technology coming up. So things that even things that you know make you sweat less, or oh, really? you know help yeah. you help you you know make sure that bacteria doesn't stay on your body, stuff like that. So there's where, a lot going on in that area. Where is the challenge in, in getting that to a broader market, or or is the demand so big that people are just expecting this stuff to, to come to market soon? Well, it's it's relatively new and it's relatively um, um, fragmented. Mm. So you see people coming on with new products, but it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't like quite hit the market big yet. So I think mm. there's still a lot of opportunities. Oh, okay, I see. What What do you think is keeping it fragmented? What are? Is it a business problem? Is it a marketing problem? Is it a distribution issue? I think a lot of these new tech comes from labs, mm. and maybe these labs aren't the best at promoting the products in in, in a bigger way. So. Mm -hmm. Maybe with some business help, these could be a bigger yeah. businesses. You know, I see you doing your work in Hong Kong. Yes. Is Hong Kong an attractive place for people who want to be into the in the fashion, in the retail fashion side of things, or most? Or my my idea is that most people think of Hong Kong now as more of a banking place, logistics, mm -hmm. supply chain. Mm -hmm. Help me understand why fashion is actually a, a center of focus here. I think Hong Kong has a geographical advantage given the proximity to southern China. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's in um, better contemporary and, and better fashion, so if you go really cheap, right? If you're mm -hmm. making khakis and t-shirts, there's Bangladesh, there's Indonesia. But if you make anything that's a little bit more f actually, you know, with, with uh, ele um, elevated design in it, mm -hmm. the manufacturing base is still southern China. Mm -hmm. And Hong Kong helps, you know, as a, as a springboard to go into southern China. Mm. Because a lot of the southern Chinese factories, they still need a lot of hand-holding to make the product right. Yeah. And Hong Kong has that talent of product development, merchandising, and, and being that bridge between the designer and the factory. But I imagine if I'm a fashion person and yes. I want to start up a fashion brand, yes. and I'm, I'm thinking of Hong Kong, right? I don't know if there are a lot of places for me to get support. Is that is that an erroneous view on my part? Or my understanding is that if you're trying to do something like this, you yeah. really are on your own. You've got to come in and really hit the pavement and try to sell your brand. I think right now there's less support, but I think we see more and more um, support coming up. What okay. I'm doing, okay. we're preparing for a fashion incubator oh. that will have a physical space uh, in 2018. Okay. But before then, we'll be reaching out to the community and, and doing some um, yeah. you know, giving some help to, to the industry. That's and interesting. Trying to, we, we want to become a hub for fashion in Hong Kong. I think that hub effect will, will help the industry. It's oh, really fascinating. So what, what is the name of the incubator going to be called? The Mills. The Mills, okay. Yes. And, and what you're going to be attracting is, I'm assuming, not just people from Hong Kong, but you want people from the international fashion community. Correct. We want Hong Kong to become the hub. So mm. we, the, the entrepreneur doesn't have to be from Hong Kong. We would like to have the business based in Hong Kong. I got so it. anybody who wants to, you know, create a base in Hong Kong and, and work with us, we welcome that. Okay. Let me ask you just two more questions, sure. and, and this is about speed to market. Yes. And, right? So the first one is, there is a lot of buzz around Hong Kong now about entrepreneurship. Yes. Do sure. you worry at all that people are building too fast, that things are just sort of developing and there's right. not enough sort of support for it, or, or where do you fall in that spectrum? I think fashion, mm -hmm. by nature, it's a little slower than tech. You know, okay. tech, you could build something, it flames out in six months. Yeah. But fashion, typically, the incubation process is about two years because there's seasons in fashion, uh -huh. right? So you do a spring summer collection, you do a fall winter collection, and if you have enough resources, you do a resort collection. Right. So that calendar sort of dictates how the industry goes. So I, I don't think so. There's, I mean, fashion is an 
it's an industry that is easy to enter. The mm -hmm. barrier to entry is not high. Mm. But to success, right, that path is quite difficult to, yeah. to be able to scale up. So we want to be able to, to help make that happen for Hong Kong. That'd be great. And I, and I guess you answered my second question, which is that I know that in fashion there are these sort of periods, there's yes. cycles, right? So you're not actually thinking of disrupting the fashion cycles. You're, you're thinking of augmenting them and supporting them? Um, I think we do both, right? I think mm. with e-commerce, it's possible to have more drops uh, in the season and not play with the mm. season with the market. But I think we need both, right? We yeah. need for, for brand recognition and for, you know, for people to really understand a brand, we still need to, to play with the you know, traditional retailers and traditional channels. E-commerce would be a new channel and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But I don't think it's something that we can, we can change overnight. Yeah, well, Hong Kong will be a fascinating place to see that I happen. I think so. Cherry, Great. Lovely the Mills, meeting you. looking forward to it, 2018. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.